What's up everybody, it's Jack and Dan. And today we're doing our four year anniversary uh, on our 2018 know, Chevy Volt. It hasn't really been four years on this car. It hasn't? I no, thought it has. No, well, not four years yet. Well, what are we doing a video for then? Well, we should do it on gas prices. What's going on with gas prices? They are extremely high. Well, that stinks. All right, guys, Jack is absolutely right. The reason we decided to do a little video is because we wanted to kind of show people what a car like this actually does in times like this. One of the things that's unique about this video is we're gonna talk a little bit about how the climate has affected our gas mileage. A lot of people say things like electric cars, what about when you run the heat or what about when you run the air? In this little experiment that we did, we went over 600 miles, but it was 100 degrees every single day, over 100 degrees a couple times, right? Well, Pamela and I had to go on a big road trip to travel around and do some presentations. Jack stayed home with Grandma because he's having his like first week of summer vacation. What'd you do with Grandma, man? You know, Grandma stuff, bake some cookies, watch some Hallmark, <laughs> flower, water some plants. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of stuff you need to water because it's like 100 degrees. Yeah. Sounds like a lot of fun. But you have a lot of fun with Grandma, right? Yeah, yeah I do. She's a fun lady. Well, we were on the road and we were traveling around. Now, we're going to show you the numbers and the stuff on the screen. But basically, what this boils down to is this car was about $34,000 four years ago. And then they stopped making them, which is the reason we got one. We wanted to be able to take trips because it converts over to kind of being a hybrid. It's not really a hybrid. There's a generator that fuels the battery. But for people to understand, it basically becomes a hybrid after the battery lets out. Now, going into summer, in the springtime, we don't use the air or heat as much as the winter or summer. So I get about 60 to 65 miles on the battery. After that is when the then the gas ticks in. There's seven gallons of gas, right? And we usually get somewhere around, you know, depending, 30 to 40, sometimes more miles per gallon. But seeing as it was 100 degrees every day, we were cranking the air conditioning just to keep it at a decent thing. I mean, we were dressed up, we were doing presentations. We didn't wanna be like all sweaty and hot going from place to place. So it greatly affected things. We're gonna kind of show you that. Right now, just to let you guys know, this car is in such demand on Carvana. They're selling for the price that I got it for, which was 26,500. Even though they're four or five years old, and even though they have 50,000 to 100,000 miles, we only have 44,000 uh, miles because well, I have a home office, right? And even though we have taken some trips, we haven't taken many in the last few years because of COVID. So this thing, by the time it hits its four-year anniversary, we're looking at maybe a 1,000 miles a month, which isn't very much, right? No. So Jack's thinking, hey, maybe we should sell it or maybe keep it in the family. You could inherit it. Maybe I'll get something else. I don't know. We're going to have to see how things go. But uh, yeah, look it up. If you've never looked into this kind of car, I mean, right now is definitely the time to buy or maybe the time to sell if you have one. We'll see. But check out these stats, guys. All right, so like we said in the beginning of the video, we do do like a yearly update on this car every year and after it goes and gets its diagnostic checks and all that kind of stuff. But we wanted to go over how this all happened. So basically, um, I wasn't fully charged when we actually left because... I ran a couple errands the night before leaving and I didn't plug it in because I was so busy packing and everything I totally forgot. So even though we went um, 649 miles on gas, the total mileage was 685, which means the first 35 were electric. We didn't really care about that because we knew that we weren't going to plug in the whole entire week. So basically what we got is 34 uh, 0.6 miles per gallon. Now, lifetime is 99.3. However, a lot of people would say, well, that's not really miles per gallon because you're plugging in and it costs money. But we don't have to pay for electric, do we? No. Because we have solar panels. So for us, this is actually pretty realistic. When it says we got 99.3 miles per gallon, that's the actual gas mileage we got because we didn't pay for the electric. We are going to be doing an update on our solar panels and all, all that stuff soon. But again, at the end of the day, that's pretty awesome to get close to 100 miles per gallon. Now, on this trip, we got 34.6. We used almost 20 gallons of gas. We went 650 on the gas. And like I said, the first 35 were uh, electric. 
Now, a lot of people would say, hey, that's not really that good a mileage, right? When we took a trip, Jack and I, to Florida, we got in the high 40s. But here's the difference. We went at a different time of year. Take a look at this. 25% of this energy was used for climate settings because it was literally 100 degrees every day and what we were cranking the air. Be spent. It's almost unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, it shows you a little pie pie graph here. Yeah. And you wonder what that little sliver of yellow is Well, says other 1%. That's for the phone. Yeah, that's us plugging no, our phones in. That's only 1%, yeah. but it did show. <laughs> so that, that, that means that they were charging their phones a lot. Yeah, basically, well, we, we had like four phones plugged in, work phones, private phones, all that. So about 1% went to like charging off the USB ports and all that. And basically right here, climate was almost a quarter of all of it and driving was 75%. So it's kind of crazy when you look at that, how much that affected our miles per gallon. Like, you know, that's kind of messed up. This green part is the battery that we started off with. Okay, so anyway, we just kind of wanted to show that to give a better idea of kind of how this all works. All right, guys, so basically we just want to do this video to kind of update people. A lot of people have questions about these kind of cars. Again, it's battery first, and then it kind of turns over to a generator, and it does use some gas. Honestly, to be able to go almost 700 miles with an initial charge and then a little bit less than 20 gallons of gas is pretty good compared to most cars, especially given the fact that we were cranking the air conditioner 100 degrees and we were also going at a pretty decent speed. A lot of these Southern Ohio roads are like uh, 70. A lot of people go 75 or 80. Of course, not us, but some people do. But anyway, even traveling at high speeds, of course, electric cars aren't really that efficient and hybrids and that kind of things really aren't that efficient but still way better than a lot of cars get as far as gas mileage goes. This car, like I said, is for sale right now around the price that I paid for it with that discount, so around 26 grand. You could find them for 23, 24, 25, something like that, depending on the mileage. We only have 44,000 because we don't travel very much, especially the last few years. If it wasn't for the pandemic, we'd probably have 50 or 60,000 miles on this because I do travel for work in the summers like this when it is hot. But last few years, we didn't do any of that, right? At the end of the year, Jack was very interested in this because he's heard a lot about gas and everything in the media and the news, even though he doesn't drive yet. And I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm just starting making money and I don't got enough money for $5 <laughs> right. per gallon. Well, so that's why he asked us, hey, how did the Volt do when you guys took this trip, especially running that air conditioning like that? And you could see. Now, if a quarter of that wasn't being used for air conditioning, let's say it was 75 outside when we went, we would have gotten 25% better mileage, which would have been pretty substantial. I mean, what's one quarter of 35? 17 and then in half would be like, you know... Uh, eight and a half. I mean, we would have been upwards of 45 miles per gallon or so, like we were when we took a trip before in this. So at the end of the day, you know, we just want to kind of show how the weather can definitely affect it. When we run the heat in the winter time, things like that also affect it. I mean, the engine's already hot, so when it's, I it just turn on, but when the yeah, engine's already hot, the and air. then the sun's hot, it just creates just warmth. So it takes yeah. a lot of electricity then turn the AC on. Yeah, the air costs a lot. So we kind of wanted to do this to show people anyway, if you're interested in this kind of car, they are for sale. We would probably recommend getting one. Um, we're kind of questioning whether or not we want to sell this one. And like if we go fully electric, but honestly, like we said, there's not a lot of charging stations. I mean, when we went to Southern Ohio, there's pretty much cornfields. <laughs> you know, there's not a lot of charging stations and things like that not like there is around here in cleveland it's pretty spooky just cornfields yeah yeah so if we were to travel even if we went fully electric we wouldn't really be able to plug it anyway so we kind of want a car like this because our everyday you usage have a backup you're using it a lot less but if you're yeah. just if you run out of electricity there's nowhere like you can't just get a gas can you can't right just you can't you're yeah, you're just there. Right. So that's one of the reasons we got this kind of car is because we kind of feel it's the best for both worlds. Um, in the future, when there's more charging stations, like we've talked about in the past, we might get some more. 
But we'll probably keep this one in the family regardless of which one we get. I'll probably pass it on to Jack. If I go fully electric, I'll still be able to use this car because you'll let me use it anytime I want, right? Maybe. <laughs> well, basically something like that, but we just wanted to answer these questions. Thanks for watching. We hope this answers some of those questions that people have in the comments when we do these videos. And we will be doing a four-year update on this car very soon. Probably going to do something for its anniversary. We usually do something aesthetic to kind of give it a little upgrade, give it some personality. Maybe we'll do that grill we've been talking about doing and stuff maybe like that. Grill, maybe put some new pina colada fresheners in it. <laughs> maybe uh, go to the wash, give it a wash. It is due for a detail. We've never done a full detail. And it's fourth give it a good polish. anniversary. Yeah, it would be good. Maybe we'll do a full detail. Anyway, we'll do those kind of things. We'll see how it goes. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Be careful out there. And be safe. Bye-bye.